Welcome back to CrossFit Garage and Salvage, a channel dedicated to entertaining you guys as I teach Caitlin here how to work on old rigs like the C10, which is done and the year is almost over. So of course it's in Northern Ohio, the weather has been, you guessed it, terrible. We haven't been able to get this freshly painted truck out of the garage and the new project in. Now it's the week between Christmas and New Year's, and what are we gonna do? So we decided to put together a little bit of a clip show for you guys. It's basically the best of me. <laughs> well, it's actually, that's fair, because it's the best of the channel from the last year, and of course, Kaylin is the best of the channel from the last year, so. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, wish you a wonderful New Year, and uh, enjoy. It's like the potato of garage solvents because it, it's good for everything. If you just want to relax, it's potato chips on the couch. If you got a holiday dinner, it's mashed potatoes. If you got fancy dinner, it's baked potatoes. Uh, if you're grilling outside, it's roasted potatoes. There's a potato for every occasion, and PB, PB Blaster for every situation in the garage. Well, I finally got myself a new tire changer this week. Actually, it's a uh, new old stock, 14 years old, but never been used before. <laughs> this thing's got more leaks than a gas station bathroom. This thing's got more leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Kaylin, this thing's got more leaks than the SS Minnow. Even the steering gear is leaking. This thing's got more leaks than a mud hut and a hurricane. I swear, Kaylin, this thing's got more leaks than the Chinese surveillance balloon. What's leaking over here? This thing's got more leaks than a Senate Intelligence Committee. While the rest of the truck's got more leaks than a wicker basket, the rear end's actually pretty dry, which either means it doesn't have any gear oil in it, or that 10 bolt is still in pretty good shape. Welcome back to Cross Garage Garage Salvage, a channel dedicated to my dad teaching me, his 14 year old daughter, how to work on old trucks like this. This week we're gonna be power washing my truck and giving it some wax on, wax off. Pretty good. Take two. Ready? We should see who's see who's. You guys are gonna have to tell us whose intro is better. My intro is better. Welcome back to Crossfit Garage and Salvage, a channel dedicated to a dad teaching his daughter how to work on old rigs. In this case, it's Caitlin's 41 Ford. We hauled out of the weeds in Colorado last week and got delivered here to Ohio, where we live in absolute shaded, overcast squalor. No. It rains all the time here is what we're saying, and we're trying to preserve the patina so it doesn't rust this thing out. So, what we're doing is we're putting a coat of Carnuba Paste Wax from SC Johnson on there. National Wood Flooring Association member. Hmm, yeah. We put floor wax on the 41 Ford. So thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, leaving a comment, and telling your friends. We appreciate it. And so does the YouTube algorithm. Mm, it's just too long. Too much information. I hate that rooster. Now who's responsible? I say who's responsible for this unwarranted attack on my person? Hey, there's Janet. Good morning. This old sway back donkey. Yeah, this thing is like a hundred years old. You see your teeth. <laughs> I got one for you. <laughs> okay. What do you call a sleepwalking nun? I don't know. A Roman Catholic. <laughs> Caitlin, you, you've known me, what, all your life? Pretty close. Yeah, all your life. So, and we'll probably take you for a test drive, which we can't do right now because we came out here and realized it's out of gas. It's out of gas. It's either out of gas or it's got a bad fuel pump, but either way, it's a great start because both of those are pretty easy fixes, so. Huh, someone got 33,000 miles on it. 33,000? Yeah. More like 233,000. <laughs> Well, I don't want to give away all my negotiation secrets. Hey, it's not for me, but it's for her. You got to leave me a little bit of money to get home with. I got to buy gas and she eats two cheeseburgers every time we eat the road. <laughs> Look at all the pipes in here and hoses. This thing's got more pipes than a Colorado smoke shop. Look, is that a new water pump down there? That is a new water pump. You can tell yeah. by the way that it is. Look at this. This is an aspen. You can tell that it's an aspen tree because of the way it is. 
Aww. That thing probably had another two or three miles on it. I don't know why they took that out. You know what headers are, Caitlin? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, okay, what are headers? <laughs> you tell me, what is a header? You point to it. I'm like a complete idiot most of the time. You just gotta set your mind to it and learn. I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah. That sounds stupid. Yeah, it did. We need to have a thing at the end where like all the stupid cuts. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> we out, yo! <laughs> now, I, I know what you're thinking. It's 2023. Why aren't we putting the chili in the bun before we put the hot dog in? Do we, do we even care about advancing civilization anymore? Is that an eagle? No, it's an owl. Uh, yeah, it's a hawk. It's a hawk. Hawk! That's on camera. <laughs> you can pretty much figure out the story by... You just gotta look at the work that's been done. And this truck, this truck's had more work than Joan Rivers. <laughs> but we're going to peel away the plastic and figure out what's really going on underneath the hood here this week on Cross Thread Garage. Caitlin and I, I'd like to thank the guy that's responsible for today's video. Crampy. Because <laughs> if he hadn't taught me to work like a rented mule, I couldn't possibly teach her to work like a rented mule. So I've decided that there's not enough me in this video. Because there needs to be more me. Caitlin. Yeah. Do you know how the moon cuts its hair? No. Eclipse it. <laughs> Whoa. Caitlin, Google John D. Rockefeller's phone number and see if he's still buying oil. <laughs> I think we struck gold. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather is? Terrible. Terrible, as always. Perfect. That's gone forever. Haha. Wait a second. Am I like slow or actually? <laughs> Two things that you need in life. A good wife and a good tool cart. Both of them will get you a long way in life. I mean, you don't need a wife. You need a good husband, but you know what I'm saying. Good spouse, good tool cart. And you're like halfway to success right there. No. Uh, Got a little slack for referring to your mom and a tool cart in the same sentence in the last video. Thanks a lot, guys. What I was saying was, my wife is great and having a tool cart is really great. I wasn't like referring to them as if they were the same thing. My wife has never held a tool for me, ever. That's not true. That's not... You built a house together. That's true, she did help me build a house. Or did I help her build the house? Oh, well, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Bad old pal, so we're gonna pull them out, inspect them. I'm gonna teach do not break the spark plugs off. Ain't nobody got time for that! Apparently we did have time. I love Bob Dole. Hi world. When it starts coming out, just pull. Keep going and pull everything away. Oh, okay. Oh, oh in the dad. In the pan. Ah. Put that in there. Make sure you cross thread it. Get that good mechanical bond so that we don't uh, don't have it falling out coming down the highway. There. Yep. Go ahead and take that one off. Ow, you got to put your safety squints on. Are we staring up at the bottom of a dirty truck running a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll have that with these bigger jobs. Ugh. Just like my head in a bunch of grease, but... There's a filler neck up top where the dipstick is. Ugh. Oh, it smells like muddy bandages dipped in battery acid. <laughs> if you're the mathematician, what is that? about the invisible man? No. He married the invisible woman. They had kids. They're nothing to look at. All right, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm in the passenger seat with my daughter for the first time in the driver's seat.
got it. Okay, start. That's third gear. That's first gear. Oh. All right, just keep it between the fence posts. Now we're on a closed course here, and I'm a professional driver, which is to say, this is the same park that the local elementary runs a 3K in every year, and uh, they're not running today. Closed course, check. And I'm a professional driver because one time a guy paid me to haul his yaks up to the mountains, and I'm pretty sure because I got paid to do it, I can't compete as an amateur anymore, so. Eyes on the road. Brake, and back around this corner, brake. Brake, Caitlin. I am braking. <laughs> You're gonna break my truck. Okay, now pull it down in a second. Oh, no. What? We're just gonna start right back up in third gear. It's fine. It's fine. That clutch has been used harder than that. It's got enough llama torques to pull the stump right off the foundation of your house, or something, something like that. And brake. I. And brake. <laughs> Why don't pirates take showers Wait. before they before they walk the plank? Uh, I don't know. They just wash up on shore. Look at him with the camera, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> your camera <laughs> is junk, and Mama didn't raise no punk. Well, actually, she did, but Caitlin calls him Uncle Tim. My Lord. Really excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. It's me. I'm the sponsor of all this. And stand up and get out of here so I can get out. You just told me to be here. Yeah. In case I needed you for something, now I need you to get out of my way. I don't know who it was, but some Greek guy said that if we gave him a big enough lever, he could move the world. Leverage and rust. Well yeah, just broke my wrench. Uh, All right, this way is so bad. Pull out of there with the camera. I you turn this. Oh, my eye! Don't do this at home, folks. Actually, do this at home. If it's gonna get done, somebody's gonna have to do it. There's no reason it shouldn't be you. Do this at home, and folks. <laughs> we are uh, okay. I, not we. There's no we in me. I'm sorry, you were saying? I want dinner. <laughs> you you probably know better than I do. I'm just out here like a little baby bird trying to fly out of a nest, just winging it. Winging it. <laughs> Interrupt this episode with a dad joke. What? Do, do you know what you get when you mix an angry sheep with an angry cow? No. Just a couple of animals that are in a bad mood. What is that? Sure sounds like an ice cream truck to me. It is an ice cream truck. You don't even know what an ice cream truck is. Come here. It's a van that sells ice cream. You just missed it. That seems not safe. Now we're cooking over the burn barrel. California residents, Prop 65 warning. That will cause cancer. Don't, don't cook over the burn barrel. Swing past my favorite Mennonite thrift store and what do I see hanging out behind the dumpster? <laughs> a new set of tires. <laughs> it's so short. I literally put my chin on it. What? That is amazing. <laughs> well, the uh, the small dilemma we have here is that we've accidentally created a little Carolina squat truck here with the front. Don't tell anybody, but next week we're going to have a merch store open. You're going to want to tune in next week yeah, to get the address. Anybody. I mean, just between you and me and the internet. Yeah. Wait. Hey, do you know the history of nachos? Wait. Huh? Who 
Liz Liberace. So, um, pressure washing, sanding, grinding, wire wheeling, painting, cutting, welding. It's all in today's episode. Got it? I wasn't super paying attention right now, but I'll give 110% as soon as you repeat yourself in a more interesting way. <laughs> you want to make sure your battery is disconnected, which is no problem because I already robbed the battery out of this one to go for something else. So... Well, the good news here is, Kaylin, if I can't make you a welder, I can at least make you a grinder. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the tow mirrors off of the truck here because, uh, well, we're building a hot rod, not a tow truck. Yeah, and I'm not a 19 year old in an oil field driving a Dodge. <laughs> Feeling you good? Look at the snake. Yeah, let's not look at the snake and get the bed off of the truck. <laughs> this thing's been torqued on so hard so many different times that it's rougher than the roads in Northern Ohio, which is saying something. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the roads around here are almost as bad as the weather. Looks like you're enjoying yourself. Mm. Oh, yeah, that looks like you're enjoying. Okay, you okay? <laughs> Gotta get your professional squinters. No, nope, not safety squints today. Tonight it's actually eye protection, so. Go time. I know what you're thinking. If nothing sticks to Teflon, how do they get Teflon to stick to the pan? Actually, you're probably thinking, hey, aren't those just sunglasses you're wearing? Actually, these are OSHA approved impact glasses that are tinted for grinding and plasma cutting. Hers, those are just sunglasses. Pretty sure if they can stop the sun, they can stop sparks. Did you just, did you just stick your fingers to that paint? No. The, the paint stuck to me. <laughs> Can't have anything nice in this garage. Take that funnel and start refilling the oil in that motor. This is supposed to be a learning experience. Where? You... <laughs> <laughs> Kayla. What? Oh. Do you know why the chicken crossed the road? No. Because! Wipe it out first. Right, you need a razor. No, no. Use that whole rag. What do you think those paper towels grow on trees? If you guys are like us and you like taking risks, but you don't get much time to gamble, just go ahead and use the uh, shiny sockets on your impact driver. Should provide for a lot of fun. They are really proud and competitive about their belly buttons. Everywhere we drove, best red navel, Finest red navel, juiciest red navel. I think if I had a juicy red navel, I uh, wouldn't advertise it. <laughs> Penguin want a peacock or? <laughs> Penguin want a peacock? <laughs> Polly want a cracker? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Caitlin, it's darker in here than the southbound end of a northbound mule. Why do you have your sunglasses on? Because. It's like my trademark now. Oh, really? You get a few YouTube shorts with your sunglasses on and uh, all of a sudden it's time to change your look. Yeah. Please don't put your elbow through the final seat. We're trying to fix it, not make it, well, worse. If you're gonna be a mechanic who wears gloves, at least take them off like you know what you're doing. Hey, for all you guys out there looking for the instruction manual on how to take a cutoff wheel off your grinder, I'm going to show you how my 14-year-old daughter does it without a wrench. Not going anywhere. These new iPhones are getting crazy. For guys like me that work in the garage, this new filter I found on the camera is incredible. Totally changes the look of your engine compartment. See? No filter. Filter. Why? Now you might be saying to yourself, isn't it really irritating to have to pull these hood pins and mess with that front latch every time you gotta check the oil in this truck? Yeah, it would be if I ever check the oil. But this is one of those trucks where you don't have to check the oil. You just do this. 
Yep, still leaking oil. Must still have some in there. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross the Garage and Salvage Tech Tips with a few ideas for you when you weld on your vehicle. First of all, make sure your welder is on and everything is turned all the way up. CO2 gas, you don't need to turn that on. You're literally breathing it out into the air. You don't need to use that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you find a clean spot on your frame for a ground. If you don't have a clean spot, go ahead and hit it with some paint, clean it up. And once you've got a clean ground set up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your battery is connected and your key is either in the on or accessory position. Because here's what Big Oil doesn't want you to know. When you run electricity through your vehicle, it'll charge your battery without having to use any fuel. Come on guys, use your kidneys. Once that's all done, go ahead and close your eyes and begin laying down that sweet bubblegum bead. That's the way the pros do it. For more great tips like this, make sure to subscribe. You know, there's a lot of discussion out there on the internet about the best way to rotate your tires, the strategy, how you move them, where you move them, what you do with it. I'm gonna show you where it begins. It begins by making sure you get your jack right in the center of your oil pan. Once you got the truck up in the air, you're gonna go ahead and go to the passenger side first, and you're gonna rotate this way, and rotate that way. <laughs> Done. Pecans, candies. You think it's pecans or pecans? It's pecan. Are you sure? Yeah. I think pecan. No, get out of my family. If I could have some pecans dipped in caramel, ugh. Stop right it's there. Pecan and caramel. I'm done. <laughs> Why don't you tell us in the comments what you think it's supposed to be? How are they supposed to tell you? It's spelled the same way. <laughs> That's a good point. If April showers bring Mayflowers, what do Mayflowers bring? Pilgrims. You're supposed to be cleaning. Not letting the dog clean your face. Take a break. Index. Ooh. Quarter. Ooh, oh, man. penny. Put Listen, a lot of money in here. Listen, for all of you out there who said, you're never going to make your money back on this truck. <laughs> Pliers I grabbed were left outside by someone who will be unnamed, but <clears throat> you would know well. She's blonde, wears sunglasses often when she's inside. Hey. What'd you, have for, what'd you have for dinner? Soup and Pez. <laughs> what are you doing with that broom? Put it down. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I always say, okay, so. I'm gonna get a t-shirt made with a bowl of white cheese that just says, okay, so on it. <laughs> be nice and clean, the trim, will, the Sierra Grande trim will go right back in here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You put your leg through it, you dingus. We're gonna run a bead all the way around the edge. Squirrel! That's a good analogy. <laughs> I know, I'm full of them. It's a little bit different week for us. We've had a week of helping family move, a week of family vacation up on Kelly's Island today. <laughs> We're at good guys. <laughs> Good guys, Rod and Custom Show at the Summit Racing Nationals. Caitlin, what are you? <laughs> it goes on the other side. That's a that's a coat. All right. It looks fine. We're good. Now <laughs> we're gonna pull these wheels off and start pulling everything out of here. Got the front jacked up, and uh, of course safety first. So we went ahead and made sure we had the jack squarely in the center of the oil pan before we started running it. Tightening it. Come on, Caitlin. The front body line is at 39 inches, and by my calculation. You ready to start? Yes. Alright, first thing, give me your best impression of a teenage girl. 
<laughs> Nailed it. Kinda on fire up at the top. It's on fire. I then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I'm trying not to think about how much I hate doing suspension work on rusty vehicles. I hate it more than cauliflower crusted pizza. I hate it more than the weeks after the McRib disappears every year. I hate it more than my math homework. Ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. He said, what is all this in here? Well, this is grease. <laughs> it just came out of there. This makes me nervous. How about you, Caitlin? I just walked in. What are we doing? Obviously. Gonna listen. Very interested in your opinion. Yeah. Oh. Looks like my room. That interior house paint didn't hold up too well underneath the heat in the cab here, did it? You know what they painted army green? Army trucks. Oh. Damn. This thing's locked up tighter than the Bluetooth headset section of a Love's truck stop. Typical Dodge pulling a Ford. This is how to get your truck delivered to Ohio in two easy steps. Have a good friend in Colorado and a good friend in Ohio. It's a brand new tube in there. We may not be smart. Most days we may not be funny. But we tend to get stuff done. Oh, she locked up. Yep. It's no bueno. But if we need to take this crank pulley off, I know how to loosen the bolt. <laughs> hey, Caitlin. What? What do you call pile of kittens. A mountain. Are you kidding me right meow? I think that chicken's having a conniption fit, not an egg. Kayla, what are you doing? Cheeto. Anybody need a cat? Well guys, Caitlin really jacked up the truck now. That was dumb. That was dumb. If you saw our episode a few weeks ago, you know that this motor right now is locked up tighter than Mitch McConnell during his last uh, press conference. <laughs> PB Blaster is kind of like the potato of garage solvents. You're a potato. Well, <laughs> I'm not a potato. <laughs> I have a potato-like shape, but I don't know why you have to hurt me like that. All right then. Well, darn it, it's good enough for me. What is? It smells like carrot juice. It smells like carrot juice? That would be interesting. I wonder if that would make it vegetable oil. <laughs> Not that breaker bar. I'm tightening it now, so I don't tighten it. And if you don't want to round it off, you get one that fits the right size. We were going to put marble mystery oil in the 41, but I decided I needed to lubricate the shop floor. Can anybody explain to me why marble mystery oil smells so good? Mystery. He pulls out a comb. And I'm like, Steve, you're you're bald. Why do you have a comb? <laughs> he looked at me and he goes, I don't know. I got this comb and I just can't part with it. Well, Caitlin, all the big time YouTubers out there say that all you need to make an engine fire is spark compression and fuel and we don't know if this has compression and oh. hold it by the side so you don't have to put your elbow to the moon there's a handle literally a handle oh. on the side oh my Caitlin here oh I spell worse I will catch you up to speed you didn't start it you're now up to speed. This thing is locked up tighter than a Texas coon hound with the neighbor's poodle in heat. Anything to add, Caitlin? I love my dad. <laughs> so sweet. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving's probably not for you. Get the other spring back on without me. I did it by myself. Yeah. I'm Superman. Oh <laughs> what? what are you doing? Easy.
Watch out world, she's being shot, raised shot. on the south side of the house. Welcome back to Crossroad Garage and Salvage. A, a chair with the... Okay, there's a hot breath. <sighs> Once again, we'll try this again. Welcome back to Crossroad Garage and Salvage. A chair with the kingdom... Oh, this is so frustrating. How does he do this? Okay, we're heading back to the intro again because it really stunk. Okay. This is the third intro. This one will be it. Welcome back to Crossside Garage and Salvage. A channel dedicated to my dad teaching his 14 year old daughter, me, Caitlin, how to work on old trucks like the C10 in the background and my 41 Ford that we brought back from Colorado. This week on Crossside Garage, I don't have a dad. He's gone on a trip and told me to make a video. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He didn't leave me any instructions. This is what you're gonna get. Ah, that dazzle. I don't know how my dad does this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am completely winging it today. Insert picture of C10. Ta-da! Okay, so am I winging all this? Absolutely. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Can I make it work? Absolutely. Will it be entertaining? Hopefully. Knock, knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. The interrupting cow. Move! I was practicing opening and closing the hood so I didn't make an idiot out of myself on camera. And I think I broke something. I lost them. I don't know where they are. Either I'm gonna make him really proud or really mad. I'm willing to take that risk. Your fingers are still so vibrating. Makes my forehead look even bigger. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this video because I have no clue what I'm doing. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Cross the Garage. Making my ears tickle. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. <laughs> Time. Kaylin, what's that sky remind you of? Our paint job. It does look vaguely like. <laughs> oh man. That hurt. You know, we used to refer to this truck as Joan Rivers because, well, she had a lot of work done to her and she's still rougher than a stucco bathtub. My eyebrows! In my eyelids! I might be happier in a twister in a tornado park. Welcome to <laughs> Be happier in a twister in a tor in a tri <laughs> do, 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 do. Guys, I'm just over here looking at this thinking, man, this thing looks like one of those show trucks from the 80s where the hood tilts the wrong way and the bed goes up and flips sideways. And Guys, you know as well as I do that there's nothing better than working in the garage with your own kid. One of my fondest memories from my childhood with my dad in the garage and him yelling, keep that light where I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that anymore, do we, Caitlin? Nope. But our friends over at Odelphi have solved that problem. They sent us over a couple of these super bright LED headlamps. I just take her phone from her, set it right here above where I'm working. Turn that light on for us, Caitlin. She keeps it trained right where I need it. to worry about is her playing with the motion activated sensor. Hey, you're not a traffic light. <laughs> the sign's lighting up, look. I uh, actually tried to tell a joke on a Zoom meeting the other day, only to find out I'm not remotely funny. So I thought this thing was gonna be the same size as Caitlin's truck, or about that size, um, her 41 Ford. Jeez. 
but it's not. This is basically a semi truck. These tires, I mean, they still got sailboat fuel in them. Talk about a big booty Judy. It seems to have a, something of a Bluetooth muffler. Dad. That thing is a monster. There's a, there's a, this. Air horn? Yes. This goes all the way down. Hello? 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 I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. That uh, is worn down to a nub. Right to the nub. Oh, well, I have it on video of me trying huh. to put it in here. Yeah, no. I got pretty close. That didn't work. Oh, there's the mouse. <gasps> ah! It's a mouse. It's so cute. <laughs> this should. I think. It seems like it's binding a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh she got it. <laughs> We're gonna have to put an advisory on this episode. <laughs> Graphic content warning. <laughs> you know, putting a battery on an unknown vehicle and hitting the start button is kind of the official automotive YouTuber move. So I guess we're not technically official YouTubers yet, are we? Nope. Right. Ow! Oh, kidney. Nope. Spleen? Spleen. Somebody said the same thing the other day. They were like, oh, my kidney. I was like, that's definitely not your kidney. He said it was his liver. No. Kidneys are in your retroperitoneal area. That's right. <laughs> if you saw last week's episode, if you see it all. <laughs> Every grandmother that's ever met me or Caitlin has loved us. So You've watched our broadcast on the YouTube. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure. <laughs> Instead, I laid down the worst coat of red anyone has ever seen. I could have literally taken a swig of red paint in my mouth and <laughs> spit it all over the truck and done a better job. I get that there's one way to do it right and there's a hundred other ways to do it almost right and in fact, good enough. At least for the girls that I run with, which right now is you and your sister and your mom. Oh yeah, here comes Kool-Aid. Caitlin, I'm gonna just post up over here on Leaf Patrol any leaves start coming out of that tree, I'm gonna deal with it. I'll fight you leaves, mess my paint job up. Jack Chan, is that you? <laughs> Ron, the other night I, I told Caitlin that you were coming and she said, isn't he the governor of Florida? <laughs> I, said, I said, his last name's Stephanus, not DeSantis. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that escalated real quick, didn't it? All the proceeds from this truck, merch sales, everything else. This guy, this girl, this person, me. It's going to her to make the head honcho. That truck. Head lettuce. Work. The main burrito. <laughs> we'll see you next week. A big week. enchilada. We'll see you next week. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. Done tomorrow before we do clear coat. Are you sniffing paint again? Actually, I was in here putting this bed liner second coat in while you were out playing today, and I'm pretty sure the dog started talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. <laughs>
Every time I'm around that guy, he has serious like inferiority complex or beard envy or something. I'm not sure what it is. All right. Oh yeah. You guys hadn't seen this yet, but we sanded right through that little pound sign, little hashtag sign. R.I.P. hashtag, or maybe I should say hashtag R.I.P. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say that's dumb. Look, here's the thing, guys. This paint job meets two very high standards here at Crossroad Garage and Salvage. Number one, it looks uh, pretty okay. And standard number two, I don't hate it at all. Well, we took the old C10 out for some glamour shots. And... Yeah. Let's say we have a starter problem. That's cool. You. Not cool. Hmm. How far do you think it is to home from here? We can make it. I think your mom's gonna say I told you so. Definitely.